You need a lot more before you need a mi second microwave. You. Okay, I can't carry it upstairs and I can't walk downstairs. Let's get to the, nut, let's get to the peanuts and butter of the damn situation. Nope. It doesn't matter. I I texted ATN today and I was like, we need another microwave because the one upstairs burned out. Um, so, I mean, why every time I, I need something, does it mean I'm telling somebody that they need to buy it for me on YouTube? Why are you saying you need it then? Just like offhand? Well, because I need a new microwave. I, I need a new microwave. My old one broke. I need a new microwave. I need to go buy a new microwave. Okay, I mean, so. that's like saying I need gas in my Jeep. I mean, I need to go to the store for gas in my Jeep. I need but, to go um, buy groceries. I mean, you know, I need to go do like something. Asking people to help you when you say that? No, I need a new well, microwave. I think you are. If I tell, if I go right now live and say, guys, I need to pay my phone bill, and then you know, what do you think is going to make my friends and supporters feel like? Maybe let's see if we can try to help. Well, Come on, Mr. Two no. plus two. Two no. plus so, two. So I went and two ordered. Two plus two. two well, plus two. whatever. I don't think <laughs> like that. I don't take it like that, so I'm not arguing with you about it. Alright, um, okay. I'm not. I'm not gonna argue. Um, so you can't you know, argue so with you. I ordered. Argue. Um, Silly yeah, argument. I mean, the microwave that I'm looking at is four hundred and fifty-nine dollars. How are you gonna argue that two plus two is not four, Michelle? <laughs> are you? Uh, okay, whatever. Um, so, <laughs> so you know, the microwave you. I'm looking at is like four hundred and fifty-nine dollars. No, I don't want my subs to pay for that. Go to the go to Eddie's pawn shop on Thirteenth Street. I bet you got a microwave for dude. Dude, we got <laughs> ten air appliances in our house, right? It has what to match our to? kitchen. It it has to match our kitchen. Um, and if Etienne is putting the house up for sale, right? Um, and we're selling the house. I mean, we're still gonna make off with a decent amount of equity. But I mean, it, the appliance has to, to match. You gotta get back with Etienne to see some of that, or he's gonna give you a bit. You think? I own half the house. Damn, let's cash out, Michelle, and go to the Bahamas. I mean, either way, I'm gonna make that great. I'm either buying the house or we sell the house, and we've got sell about that house, Michelle, and take your hundred thousand. Hundred thousand equity, so I'm gonna get about a hundred thousand if we sell That's the house. I mean, either way, I'm making that great. I mean, I can't do anything right now. I'm, so, I'm, I'm in bed. I haven't. I've been in bed for almost three days. Like it hurts Michelle. to stand up. So, you, what was the next person gonna do with your house? Like, what was the plan? I mean, not the exact plan, but like they were gonna stay with you for a week while you convalesced and healed. A couple days, but um, I mean, I just my dog sitter, like my dog trainer, the one that kept the dogs for me. Like, I'm driving my Jeep to outpatient. Her and her husband are going to, like, meet me there and, like, sit with me in, with the procedure. And then either her and her husband, one of them are going to drive my Jeep back to my house. Probably she's good enough to have you on your own bike. Like, did you have a game plan or what? Like, how far along did the planning get with you? And she your was going to stay for a few days. Um, With seven kids, by the way. Like, well, how was that going to work? I heard no, she's she had... coming down by herself. Yeah, but I'm still, I mean, okay, cool, good. But, like, dude, I guess I'm just talking I mean, about... okay, like, I really appreciate, I really appreciate so you gotta find... it. Which is, it just got too much. It just, like, people were saying I was using her and then... You know, people are like, you know, don't trust her. And I'm the one that asked her to come. Like, she didn't offer. Like, I was like, I need help. And then I started feeling like a piece of it was just like. Or something? Like, was it far away? No, she, she, but she doesn't like to drive. She doesn't drive. Well, like, like, how many and miles? she was going to drive my Jeep home from her procedure. Like, she was doing, like, big things for me. And I asked her to do it. And I feel like she it was shit. I mean, I was crying earlier today. When I made the decision for her not to come, I was legitimately crying. I. I was crying on my live. I called my dog sitter, and I'm not trying to get anybody. Oh, you just made a decision and canceled on her, or what happened? Yeah, I just was like, I this is just too much. I mean, like, well, my right to do that. That's okay. My borderline personality disorder kicked in, and like all my trust issues, and like I don't know, everything just. It's all right. Yeah, I don't know. Done. I mean, right. I just was like, this is. I don't know what. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's okay. She gets like that. She'll don't understand. Don't get it. There's people gonna try and troll you. I mean, and then they said that I like um. You know, they then they were like, uh, you know, you took money from her. And I was like, no, I didn't. And I couldn't even remember because somebody else helped me with something. And so I couldn't remember who sent the commissary. Mm -hmm. And then when I heard her talking about that, I was like, oh, it was nuts. And I immediately sent her the money back. Immediately. Because you I don't want anybody to think I'm using anybody. Well, she didn't, you didn't ask her to do that, though, did you? Did I don't you remember. To... Okay, well, then that's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just curious. It doesn't matter anyways. You already gave her the money, so good job. I mean, I paid her back immediately because I don't want anybody to think I'm using anybody. Well, she, and Devious over there, like, e-bagging and being like, don't you dare send her money, Devious. She took the 70, so don't lie. Oh, you sent her 100 and she kept 70 and sent you 30 back? Yeah, she put $70 on Joseph's books and I sent her 100. She didn't put it on what? his books. I'll send Hold you on. the screenshot to prove it to you. Hold on, Steve. You. Well, you don't have to do all that. No, I didn't have them. it. I got my alimony since then. Uh, but Michelle, you, so you got to stop asking people to send stuff to your son. It ain't that serious. Your son's getting state food. You got to get off of that shit. My what? 
Your son getting state food, you got state clothes, it, all the bills are paid for for as long as he's in jail. You don't need to have uh, feel responsible. If you can do it, great. But if you can't, don't beat yourself up and definitely don't get in these situations where so you're be beholden to somebody. for. What happened to the part? Like for real, Michelle, what happened to the part where you asked Nicole for a big ass favor? Why ain't that story being said since you're telling every other story? Can I say yep. what the big favor was? I feel like this. I was asked this favor as a trust bond, which I did. And I did not say anything to Devious till well, now it's about 12 minutes ago. But literally, right before she hit this live button, she found out about it. I didn't even tell her. But I felt like Michelle was asking me that favor to, to build see. a trust bond to see if she could trust me. But then it, and it I was goes, okay with that. It goes both ways. Hold up. Did you did you tell about this? This screenshot right here? Hold on. I'm, I got to take this down for a second. And I'm going to take the matter down That's for okay. a second. Where's this part of the story? Did anybody else hear about this part of the story? If you don't know what that is, that's a commissary slip. If you don't know how much money that is, I have every item detailed because I said, Nicole, send it to me, please. Because every part of Nicole, Nicole this, Nicole's gonna go through my stuff. Nicole is that third, right? Where's this part where you ask for that favor? Without no hesitation, Nicole dropped $70.62 on your son's commissary for you to trust her to let her know, like, I'm not here for whatever. Y'all can add this up. Look, tuna, $18. Look at this. I'll make it bigger. Hold up. I know. Oh, bad. I didn't tell Devious because I did this on Wednesday. Today is Sunday. Um, I think you can see the order date on there. So I did it on Wednesday and I have not told, I didn't tell even Devious because it all. wasn't about that. It wasn't about that. It was about, I felt like she was trying to do like a test with me to see if she could trust me. And I was willing to do that. So she would know I'm not coming there for any other reason, but to help you. And then you're all over the place saying you don't know if you can trust me i might go through your papers i might do this like i'm not that person michelle i'm not that person at you all know what? 